वेलकम आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस लेक्चर इन द कोर्स संधि इन पाणिनियन ग्रामर वी आर करेंटली स्टडिंग हल संधि और कॉन्सोनेंट संधि दिस मीन्स द संधि दैट टेक्स प्लेस ऑफ अ हल और अ कॉन्सोनेंट the term hal is a pratyahara and it is formed with the marker l coming at the end of the 14th sutra together with the beginning the letter h which comes at the beginning of the 5th sutra amongst the pratyahara sutras thereby capturing all the sounds in between h and l and also h which amounts to all consonants because in the first four sutras in the pratyahara sutras we have all vowels also known as ach and we have already studied ach sandhi before we stated that hal sandhi can be classified under two heads ekasthanik ekadesh and also ekasthanik dvyadesh ekasthanik ekadesh is one substituent replaced by one substitute and ekasthanik dvyadesh is one substituent replaced by two substitutes ekasthanik ekadesh can be further classified into two purvanimittak ekasthanik ekadesh and paranimittak ekasthanik ekadesh purvanimittak ekasthanik ekadesh can be diagrammatically explained in this particular fashion when you have b plus a in close proximity or in the samhita mode where b comes immediately before a and in the environment of b which appears before or purva a gets substituted by c so this is purva this is the purva nimitta this is ekasthani and this is ek adesha that's why this substitute can be stated to be purva nimitta ka ekasthani ka ekadesh b plus a is the substituent is the input and the output generated is c plus b so b plus c whereas paranimittaka ekasthanik ekadesh can be described in this particular way where we have a plus b in close proximity or in the samhita mode where a comes before b and b comes immediately after a and in the environment of b coming immediately after a is substituted by c so this is par par and nimitta so this is par nimitta ka ek sthanik ek adesh so a plus b is the input and c plus b is the output and we noted that these are the instances of the paranimittaka ekasthanik ekadesha shtutva sandhi shtutva sandhi anuswara sandhi parasavarna sandhi purva savarna sandhi anunasika sandhi chhatva sandhi jivamuliya sandhi and upadmaniya sandhi let us concentrate on the first one which is shtutva sandhi shtutva sandhi is stated by the sutra stoho shchuna shchuhu 8440 this sutra consists of three words stoho 6 slash 1 of stu stu composed of sa and tu tu meaning tavarga that is 
त थ द ध एंड न एंड सो स्तु मीन्स इन प्लेस ऑफ स्तु स्चुना इज स्त्री स्लैश वन ऑफ शचु विच इज कंपोज ऑफ श एंड चु चु मीन्स च वर्ग एंड च वर्ग मीन्स च छ ज झ एंड य शचुना मीन्स इन असोसिएशन विथ और इन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ शचु एंड देन वी हैव चुहु विच इज वन स्लैश वन ऑफ शचु वंस अगेन श एंड चु चु मीन्स च वर्ग दैट इज च छ ज झ य सो शचुहु मीन्स सब्सटीट्यूट शचु all this put together the meaning of stosh chunash chuhu which affects the which brings about the shchutva sandhi is the following in the close proximity of sounds samhitayam in the combination of chu sh and chu that is sh and cha varga that is sh and cha cha ja ja ya this is the meaning of shchuna in place of stu stoho that is in place of sa and tu that is the varga that is tatha dadhana substitute sh and chu that is cha varga that is cha cha ja ja ya this is the meaning of stosh chunas chu i repeat in the close proximity of sounds samhitayam in the combination of chu chuna in place of stu stoho substitute sh and chu shchuhu there is correspondence relation or also known as yatha sankhya relation in this particular sutra in this case according to the paninian grammatical tradition yatha sankhya relation exists between sthani or karyi and adesha or karya this is very important sthani and karyi and adesha or karya they share this yatha sankhya relationship yatha sankhya relation does not exist between nimitta and sthani or karyi and nimitta and adesha or karya this is very crucial so when we have shchu plus s shchu is the nimitta and there is no yatha sankhya it could be anything and now this s which is sthani or karyi has got yatha sankhya relationship with sh which is the karya or the adesha so shchu plus s is the input and the output generated is shchu plus sh always similarly shchu plus n is the input and the output generated is shchu plus y n is the fifth consonant in the t class and so in its place is substituted the fifth consonant in the ch class that is y similarly if you have s plus chu where the order is reversed even in that case s gets substituted by sh in the environment of shchu t gets substituted by ch in the environment of shchu remember t is the first in its class so it is substituted by ch which is first in its class d plus shchu and the output is j plus shchu d is the third consonant in the class and so in its place comes j which is the third consonant in the ch class the sutra uses the word chuna which is very peculiar this case indicates the environment for the substitution to take place but it neither indicates only the left hand side environment as we have seen before nor only the right hand side environment which also we have seen before it indicates both left as well as right hand environments for the substitution to take place 
So, stew will be both left hand as well as right hand side environment for stutva sandhi to take place. So, we have stew plus stu, where stu is the left hand side environment and stu is the karyi or the sthani and then 8440 will apply and the substitute will be stu in place of stu and so the output returned would be stu plus stu. Stu plus stu is the input, stu plus stu is the output. This is the purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. And also if you have stu plus stu, where stu is the nimitta of stu, stu is para, so this is para nimitta and then this stu which is the karyi or the sthani will be replaced by stu which is the karya or the adesha. So we have stu plus stu and stu will be substituted by stu and the output returned would be stu plus stu. So this is the paranimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. Here are the template examples. First we take the paranimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha where we have surplus sh is the input and 8440 applies and the output generated is sh plus sh. Then we have s plus ch as the input where ch is the paranimitta and then this s is substituted by sh. Similarly, s plus ch as the input and the s is substituted by sh. So the returned output is sh plus ch. In case of s plus ch as the input, the returned output is sh plus ch. Coming back to s plus j, we have s as the sthani or the karyi in the environment of j, right hand environment. And now 8440 applies and in place of this s, sh is substituted. So s plus j is the input and sh plus j is the output. Similarly, s plus j is the input and sh plus j is the output. And finally, s plus y is the input and 8440 applies and returns the output in the form of sh plus y. In all these cases, you must have noticed that the sthani or the karyi is s, which corresponds to sh, only sh. There is correspondence between the sthani or the karyi and the adesha or the karya. But if you look at the nimittas, sh, ch, ch, j, j, y, etc., there is no one to one correspondence. In fact, sa is coming with all the combinations that are possible, at least technically, they are listed over here. And so the output would be once again in those varied environments. And then we have this kind of template example where we have all tatha dadhana tu is followed by sh and then 8440 applies and then the output generated is ch ch j j y plus sh. So this is the sthani, this is the adesha. We can say that this is the set which is the sthani or the kari and this set is the adesha or the karya and therefore there is the correspondence. This the is substituted by ch which is in the first place, th is substituted by ch, th is substituted by j and dh is substituted by j and na is substituted by y which is fifth. And similar is the case with the other environments. Tatha dadhana will have sh as the right hand environment, so also they will have ch, ch, j, j and y as the right hand environment and they will be substituted by their respective ch, var, g substitute 
in the right hand environment of sh and chavarga let us look at these examples one by one so first let us take a look at the examples where sa is followed by sh and this is the input and the output is sh plus sh so we have haris plus shete haris and shete so here we have sa at the end of the pada haris shete sa at the end of the pada followed by another followed followed by sh at the beginning of the pada and so stoschanashchu who applies 8440 and then substitute this by sh so we have harish shete that is harish shete this is sa occurring at the end of the pada and this sandhi happens between two padas then we look at the sandhi that happens within a compound where we have vachas followed by shata where sa is immediately followed by sh and then we have stoschanashchu applying which substitutes sa by sh so we have vachas and shata when we join them together we get vachas shata now if we look at the scenario within a pada so bhuyas plus shas this is a tadhita pratyaya and so here we have sa followed by sh and so sa will become sh by the application of 8440 and you will get the form bhuyas shah bhuyas shas next we have examples where sa is immediately followed by ch and 8440 applies and the output generated is sh plus ch so we have ramas plus ch very famous and very popular very frequent also ramas ch and here sa coming at the end of the pada followed by ch so sa is substituted by sh by the application of 8440 so we have ramas and ch ramas ch similarly you will have krishnas ch and so on haris ch and so on so many examples this is an example of sandhi in between two padas as part of the sentence let us now look at the sandhi within a compound nabhas plus char this is a compound so samhita is obligatory so we have sa coming at the end of this word and ch coming at the beginning over here they are in the samhita mode so this uh, is substituted by sh and so we have nabhash and char that is nabhash char by the application of 8440 similarly you have urjas plus chana this is a tadhita suffix and so we have urjas plus chana so this sutra applies and substitutes by sh so we have urjas chana urjas chana then we have sa followed by ch as an input and 6 and 8440 applies and the output generated is sh plus ch example is payas plus chatra and here we have the compound so, so samhita is obligatory so sa coming at the end of this word followed by ch at the beginning of this word and they are in the samhita mode so 8440 applies and the output generated is payash chatra that is payash chatra now if we look at the example in between two padas we have prayas and chinatti sir so coming at the end of the first pada ch coming at the beginning of this second pada so this sir will be substituted by sh by the application of 8440 so we have prayash and chinatti so we get prayash chinatti you have similar words of this kind in sanskrit now we have surplus j as the input 
and shirtless j as the output. So we have must plus a plus t and we are, we are deriving the present tense form of the verbal root must. So must j plus a plus t and here we have s followed by j and so s is substituted by sh over here. So we have mush plus j plus a plus t then this sh is changed to j and by the other rules and so we have maj plus a plus t that is maj t. Similarly, we have plus j plus a plus t and this uh, is, is substituted by sh by the present rule 8440. So, we have plus j a t and then this sh is substituted by j. So, we have plus j a t plus j t as the derived output. We must note here that examples for this combination are purely metalinguistic as is the case over here. Similarly, we can also say that also are not available the following combinations sh plus j and then they are converted into sh plus j. Similarly, sh plus y and the substitution is sh plus y. These are not available. Why these combinations are not possible? Sh plus j followed by sh plus j, sh plus j followed by sh plus j and sh plus y followed by sh plus y. These combinations are not possible because at the end of a pada, s will get substituted by r8266 just as you have haris plus jayati, s will be substituted by r. So, you will have harir jayati, harir jayati. Similar thing will happen with j also and also s plus y is not possible. Now let us look at the examples. We have seen the examples of s being the karyi. Now let us look at the examples where the tavarga or the tu is the karyi in the environment of shchu. First, the plus sh, and we have ch plus sh as the output. So, here are two examples sat plus shila. This is a compound. So, in this case, the coming at the end of the pada, the will be substituted by the by 8 to 39. This the will be then substituted by j according to. 8440 and according to 8454, j will be substituted by ch and such shila and then 8463 will apply and will substitute this sh by ch. So, we will get the form such shila. So, the original input is the plus sh and then it gets transformed from the to the, the to j, where here actually. 8440 applies. Similarly, you can have tat plus shratva and here you have the substituted by the, the substituted by j and j substituted by ch in the similar manner. And finally, you have sh substituted by ch. So, you get the form tat shratva, tat shratva. Then you have th followed by sh and the substitution finally is ch followed by sh, although there is no direct such substitution. So, agnimath plus sharana, here we have the example, have a compound where th is substituted by the first, then the is substituted by j by 8440, then j by ch, then ch by ch and also sh by ch by the sutra 8463 and when this is substituted by ch even this ch gets 
substituted by ch. Ch by the vartika chayodvitiya shari pauskara sadehi. So we have agnimat charana as the resultant form. Then we have the plus ch as the input and 8440 applies and the output generated is ja plus sh. So we have ramad plus shamsati where the is substituted by ja and we get ramaj shamsati. Then ja is substituted by ch ramaj shamsati and then sh is substituted by ch. So we have ramaj shamsati. Then we have na followed by sh and the output generated is ya followed by sh. So we have san plus shambhu. This is the example of the sandhi between two padas. Na is substituted by ya. So we have sai plus shambhu. And finally, sh gets substituted by ch and we get the form sai shambhu. To summarize, we studied the basics of the consonant sandhi or the hal sandhi. We also studied the second part of the shchutva sandhi, which is paranimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. We noted down the template examples and studied the specific examples as well. They were at different levels. In case of some, the combinations are not possible. There the rule enjoys redundancy. Next we study the remaining examples of Shchutva Sandhi in the next lecture. Thank you for your patience.